Hello, everybody. We're back with Ben Feingold, studying 1D4. Well, I thought I was Fishman. What happened? Oh, I, it depends on my moods. Oh, okay. Depends on my moods. But uh, it, I also like Fen Beingold. Yeah, that guy's that guy's great. Yeah, he's one of my biggest supporters. Surprisingly. Nice. Okay, I got the invite. Yay! You're invited. Oh, Adiban, that's so cool. Let's see. Give full control. Okay. So Adiban actually wrote notes to this game. This was in Gibraltar in 2020. And so yesterday in this position, we looked at knight CE4. If you remember. Yes. And yeah. you said that today we're going to look at B6. Bushist. Da. Okay. Bushist. Yeah. So Makarovka, Slambisian. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so th this is all... The Tabia hasn't started yet, but everybody castles, everybody plays bishop uh, b7, and everybody plays knight b5 to play knight d6. Yes, I remember that. Let me try to remember. Yeah, I think it was knight e4. Um, a, no, wait, wait, wait. It's not knight e4. It's bishop e4. Bishop e4. Then you only have one move. D1. Yeah. And then it's knight b7, a3, bishop. Mm -hmm. Bishop e7. Right. And now, knight but, c3. Right. In this position, after a3, uh, he said, Adiban said his opponent prepared a6. And he said he's he's faced bishop e7 before, but after bishop f4, he says white is better. Although mm -hmm. that's one of that's one of the main lines. But Adiban likes white. Right, and we'll, nice. we'll, we'll look at that in other games. But I think that's it. Like, what she's saying in that chapter, it's mm -hmm. just the... Um, I think it ends after bishop e7, knight c3. Yeah, okay. That sounds so, like see, me. I, uh, we started. We started yesterday. Yeah, good. Also, Cheryl Chesanto, thank you so much for 20 months. Soon to be two years. That's a lot. Mm-hmm. I just got a one cent donation. Thanks, Big Daddy. One bit. Yay. Look at you. Hey, kangaroo. Okay, so he played a6. Did did his opponent. This is his secret preparation. Takes, takes. Takes, takes. And here, the engine says white has a big advantage if white just takes on b5. X-Clan. Wow. Three pawns are three times as good. Correct. But he didn't do that. He played B3. White's still a little better, but not as much. BC, BC, D5. So basically, position symmetrically, pawn structure-wise... But white has the two bishops. Also, the knight on bishops? b7. Yeah, bishop, knight on b7. Nia oh, I don't. Nia, Nia No, this isn't so good. Fiend cuddling your knight, usually not a good idea. Interesting. Okay, bishop I like b2. How it sounds. And then he took on f6. And then he played Rubenstein's favorite move, queen c1. Okay. Wants to play queen h6, I guess. King g7. Queen c7, threatening the b-pawn. Rook d6 is a blunder. Oh. That actually loses immediately. Uh, let me see. It should be... Yeah, I can I can see why he blundered. This is hard to idea to see. Yeah, that's right. And bishop e Yeah, I thought it was knight g5 also, but the engine's saying knight e5. Oh, knight g5 and knight e5 are the same. 
They both win. Yeah. Yeah, then you can see this is all misplaced. You know. And knight g5. Yeah. Okay, so he played rook c6. And then queen f4 defends the pawn. Rook c4. Okay, and white has several winning moves here. Right. But he played the craziest because uh, he's Adiban. He played the craziest winning move, also the best move. Knight g5 uh, looks okay to me. Knight d2 is a boring winning move. That's a good move. Yeah, he played knight e5. Beautiful. It was my first candidate. Yeah, the engine likes that the best. Now he took queen g5. Because if you play queen e5, never play f6. Correct. Never let him play f6. And then the guy decided not to resign. I like the way he never moved his queen and his knight after queen a8. That's funny. <laughs> and then he resigned here. Plus six. Love it. So yeah, a6 seems like a novelty that the guy prepared, but the guy didn't last very long. I mean that, that the game yes. was the game was half over at that point. Mm. He was twenty three sixty one. Oswald Schnitzer, cool name. Did you play Sounds Gibraltar? Like someone who uh, someone's like me. Yeah. Do Do you play Gibraltar ever? I played two times, 2019, 2020. So this one I actually played, right? Yeah, so you were walking by this board, shaking your head at Black's position. Yeah. Exactly. So, well, yeah. I'm thinking about how in four years later, I would be uh, playing this exact same opening for White. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next game is Dreyev again. It's always Dreyev. Your dear friend. Yeah, against Sergei Zhigalko. I think there's two Zhigalkos. I think so, yeah. Yeah, and they're both good. Okay, so Dreyev's white. B6. Castles. Bishop B7. Knight B5. Bishop B4. Queen D1. Knight B7. Okay, so in this position, white can play two different moves. Adiban played A3. And you can also play Bishop F4. They're both pretty okay. common. Dreyev played bishop f4. Okay, black played d5. a3. Bishop back to e7. Knight c3 as recommended by Dina. Uh -huh. Oh, was it this one? Oh, I missed. Oh, I forgot bishop f4 and d5. Mm -hmm. Was this one in your course? You're asking me? Yeah, my, I wrote my course nine months ago. I don't know. Okay. Probably. I'll, I'll double check. Yeah. Okay, rook c8. Yeah, the engine says white's already much better. It's the two bishops again. Correct. And the knight on d7 again. Mm -hmm. But Chigalko is better, so he moved it. Rook, B, rook d one's a mistake. I like the way he blundered and then he won in seven moves. But this is a blitz game. So, so far, white's playing well. White should take on, on f6. And after queen f6, play e4 with big advantage to white. But he right. played here, missing knight takes b2, I guess. And somehow, this position, which is better for black, he lost immediately. Man, tough. Queen f6, now it's equal. And it's still equal. This says he played rook c8 and resigned. Rook c8's a terrible move. 
because white plays e4. I guess he lost on time. But after e4, oh. white's white's already doing really well. Oh, because it's a blitz championship. Yeah, then knight e7's forced. Queen takes b6. And then e5, x clam. This says white's up plus one. Wow, this is a nice trick. If you play queen f5, that's a blunder and white wins immediately. It doesn't look like a blunder. It looks like a normal move. Tax the rook. Yeah, not queen, not queen b7. Queen b4. No, because no. it was this rook c7, rook e8. Oh, knight D4. knight D4 and knight H4. They both win. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's funny. Just completely winning. Winning a piece. Man. <laughs> so queen H6 nice. is the only move. Because queen G6 runs into the same thing. Then, you know, white's doing well because white has the seventh and nice diagonal. Queen is sort of trapped. Okay, but more importantly was uh, let's play better for Dreyev. Because he's doing really well here. Okay. Yeah, here he just wants to play Rook C1. Queen A4 is okay. But here, uh, again, Rook C1. Because C6 square is really weak. So if you take, this is really nice for white. Knight c6, a pawn's hanging, bishop's good. Yeah, this is black on the big defensive here. Right. So not a good game, but somehow white won in 30 moves. So yay. How do you lose on time on move 30 in a blitz game? I guess it's the notation that is not entire. Yeah, that, I, I agree with you. Probably the game kept going. Yeah. Yeah. And so forth. That's okay, Bonarici. My chat is asking what's Karen up to today? Uh, Karen just did a poker class and she just went to the gym. And then she'll come back from the gym. Well, actually, she'll go from the gym and pick up Today's Tuesday, she'll pick up Archer at school, and then she'll bring him home and feed him, and then she'll do more poker. Then, tonight, Karen and Archer go to music bingo. It's bingo, but with music. They go every Tuesday. Interesting. Then she'll stream with me when she gets home. Yeah, this position just seems like better for white. White gets two bishops and the knight's on d6. Or on b7. Seems like a two-result game again. Like maybe black can equalize, but, you know, like who wants to have black here? Makes yeah. sense. And then here he made a mistake. But he should have played rook ac1 like a couple of times. Rook ac1 is always a good CD is good. Bishop takes... He could take or play rook c1. They're both good. And then here, here rook c1 is probably the best. Then they trade rooks, then you play rook d1. And you're just trying to play for e4. And c6 is weak because we have the two bishops. And the yeah. white squares are weak. Yeah, so the, the engine says white's up 0.7 after rook c1. Yeah, but the question is, do you want to play a3 or bishop f4? Because they're both good. I guess whatever the, the it says in the course. I thought it was saying a3. Mm -hmm. They're I both see. good. White always wins because those are the games that I show you. By the way, somebody who has this a lot is Lenderman. Oh, Lenderman has white in like five games in this line. Wow. And I have two of his wins. Like you won? Oh, like here, right, yes. Yeah. Okay, he's playing right. Justin Wang. He's one of those kids who's really good. He's like six years old or seven. I don't know. 
Maybe he's 15. Okay, so... Okay, so Lenderman played a3, and then played bishop f4. Uh-huh. Rook c8, that's the best move, it says. Tax the c-pawn, rook c1, then a6, knight c3. Yeah, the engine says white's better by, like, 0. 0.5. Just because the knight is so stupid on b7. Correct. Hey, he's threatening the c-pawn. That's mean. b4 is the best move. And then bishop b7. And the rook is trapped. Then h5 is the best move. Takes. Takes. Bishop d2. The engine likes knight a4 better. Which seems annoying, knight a4, because you're pinning. And... Yeah, it does. It does seem annoying. But this is also very good for white. Mm -hmm. And he beat him in 77 moves. So very, oh, very long hot. game. Very long game. A two-result game. But okay, oh, I mean, you just up the exchange for a pawn. Games. Yeah. Man, first this knight was bad, now this knight is bad. You were correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now it says white's completely winning. Like plus two. Can white suck an exchange there? In what it's this not needed. in this position? Instead of rookie Probably one? Yeah. Always sack the exchange. That's what Black did. Then he lost. Lol. Mm hmm There you go. Oh, see? Yeah, but always okay, sack the exchange. The That's the best move. Rook takes d5. And the second best move, or, or tied for first, is knight f6 check. God. It's too complicated. I resign. Then after bishop wow. f6, you play rook takes d5. Only move. Oh, wow. And then, then this is terrible for black. So nasty. This is the engine line. Okay, so he sacrificed the exchange because he's Lenderman. Then they transpose. Right. So transposed. Bishop f6 is the best move. By the way, if king h8, then e6. Okay. And this says plus four for white. Yeah, they transposed. d4 is the best move. Yeah, and it says black's just completely lost. Uh, black's still down a pawn, but white has a passed pawn and the bishop against the knight. Bishop e3. There's a move I wouldn't have thought of. Boy, black suffered a lot this game. Black's always worse or losing for 77 moves. That's amazing. I love this opening. It's going to be my favorite opening. Also, to be honest with you, I really love Chasuble. Like, mm -hmm. I've heard so many good things about it, but it's not the same until you actually start working at it. And it's like, it's so, yeah, it's it's so effective well, that's to learn good. on Chasuble. Yeah, no, I agree. How much are they paying you to say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm paying them. I bought not one, but two courses, remember? Wow. Exactly. Sir Percival, subscribe. Thank you. That knight's pretty that's good on very, E8. That's very honest of me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good to move your knight a thousand times and then have it trapped on the back row there. That's good. Yeah, this is what every knight deserves to be. Yeah. And the truth hurts. Wow. He, he didn't resign for seven more moves? 
Man, I would be I would be res resigning here all day. You couldn't. Because he was playing for the crowd. You couldn't stop me from resigning here. How do you not resign? You're down three pawns and your knight's strapped. What? Man. Yeah, this is a good rook ending. Yeah, don't res yeah, king d5, that's a good move. King d4, yeah. <laughs> king c4. Nice. What is this not resigning? What's going on? Okay, now he resigned. Wow, that was a very late resignation. That was played in the Spice Cup in St. Louis in 2018. It's never over until it's over. Man, it's over. Stop the fight. Where's the referee? No, you cannot be so mean. Well, I could. Like, imagine you were white and the guy was playing on. You'd feel so insulted. I'd feel annoyed, but I also but this is this is why they should continue because the other one feels annoyed, so maybe he, something mm -hmm. happens. But let me see what was was it the classical? Oh yeah, it was a spice cup. Mm hmm Yeah, that was a long game. But black suffered the whole game. That's terrible. That was no fun. It was fun for Lenderman. Okay, now Lenderman against your favorite person, because he's always in Charlotte. Gary oh, Shankar. Oh, right. The reason I come to Charlotte is Mr. Gary. That's right. That's the reason anybody does anything. Right. I mean, he's my idol. He does this amazing uh, reels in for chess reels. You should see him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's great. I like when he sings on his stream. Nice. Sometimes nice. he's singing. Sings good. Yeah, I've known him forever. I've known him for... I mean, probably before you were born. Oh, that's amazing. I, I've, yeah, I've known Gowry, that. like, I met him in Chicago, like, 20 years ago. Whoa. And uh, has he been your student? He's never been my student. Maybe that's why he has eight norms and never reached 2400. That's, that's correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, probably because he lost to Lenderman. Also, to your student, Lenderman. Yeah, that's right. Actually, against Lenderman, uh, I have two wins and one loss and, a, and two draws in slow chess. So I still have a plus score. Interesting. Go, Ben. As long as I don't play him now, then I can keep my plus score. Okay, bishop b7, knight b5, bishop b4, knight b7, a3. This looks familiar. This looks like the last game. Yeah, this is the last game. Bishop c6. I don't think he played bishop c6 the last game. Uh, oh, he played bishop takes f3 and knight a5. That's what he did. Okay. Then b4, knight c4, bishop b7. True. Okay, so this guy played the normal looking move. Yeah, the engine says white's up 0.5. Why, is, why does black play this line if white has 0.5 after the opening? Like, why wouldn't you play another line? Okay, so knight e4. Now it says white's up plus one. My engine says only plus 70. Terrible. But I don't look at engine. I only look at the engine when it's in my favor. Oh. Okay, this should be four. Yeah, this is good what Lenderman's doing. Yeah, this is just very unpleasant for black. White has all the space. Yeah, this is un this is just terrible. Knight on b7 is so bad. Queen b2. The engine plays bishop e3. Then black has to play b5, it says. Then it wants to come in here later. Wow, that's crazy. But this is still good good for white. Yay, the knight's on b7 somehow. Amazing. Always two, keep your knight on b7. Two bishops, what else? Yeah, Gowry's playing good. He's only He's only slightly worse now. 
Although still a two result game. I'll make sure to tell Gary everything you thought about his opening. Mm -hmm. Now it says he's in trouble again. I mean, that B pawn's annoying. Mm. E5 is forced. Yeah, if two super GMs are playing, it'll be a draw, but defending is hard. Never play also F6. Each pawn marsh. Yeah, that's that's the, the Dina recommendation. F6 is a terrible move, by the way. Yeah. F6 Everybody is the losing. Their mama knows. F6 is the losing move. Yeah, that's terrible. That weakens all the white squares. Yeah, this is no fun for black. Oh, that's a cool move. We queen with check. Hooray. If he trades queens, I mean. Whoa, what a piece sack. It says he's down a piece. Whoa. It says no perpetual, so white wins. Yeah, if queen e1 check, bishop f2. Queen g1. Man, no checks ever. Oh, that's, that's amazing. That's nice. And then bishop d4 is annoying. Okay, so he played here so he could check him on f4. Now bishop e5 is annoying. The truth hurts. It does. Yeah, so that was Lenderman winning because he's a better player. But he threw away most of his advantage that game. That was played in Dayton in Ohio. Why is Lenderman playing in Ohio? Oh, is it the same Ohio where my dear friend uh, uh, Zatonsky Anna is from? That's right. She used to live there. She was born in Ohio. Yes. No. She, the, in, she, she taught chess in the famous Ohio Chess Center. That's right. <laughs> The famous. <laughs> yeah. It's like the Charlotte Chess Center, except nobody's heard of the other one. <laughs> yes. Okay, now That's I like this exactly game. what I was thinking of. Yeah. This game I like because the guy who had white, I beat him in 15 moves. Davor and Kuljasevich. Never heard of him. Yeah, he's from somewhere in Eastern Europe, one of those countries. Nobody knows which one. This is in the Croatian Championship, maybe Croatia, against yeah, Svitan. Yeah, Svitan was good in the 1980s. He did good in the World Junior Championship, like sometime between 1975 and 85. Go Svitan. Okay. okay, so they played a million loser theory, then Black resigned. No. Yeah. Seriously? Well, Black lost on move 29. So the the first the first sixteen moves we've seen before, so That's sad. they don't last very long. A three bishop f four. Okay, we haven't seen d six yet. My engine says plus one for white. Okay. This looks like the other game by transposition. Hey, rookie uh -huh. one. The, en the engine likes rookie one. No, I mean, like, this is a normal position except the knight's on b7. Like, if it was on d7, then black's only slightly worse, I guess. It would have been, like, uh, like a kind of Marotzi, not um, Yosh. Yosh? You know Yosh? Yosh? Like, uh, is he your good hedgehog. friend? Yeah, hedgehog. No. Yeah. Yeah. Right, looks like a hedgehog. Yeah, this says, this says white's completely yeah. winning already. How is wow. white completely... It says plus two. Man, that knight is so bad on b7. Bishop f1 is the best move. Hooray, that's my favorite move. Always play bishop f1. 
Okay, he played knight d4, also good. Yeah, it's hard to defend the b5 pawn. Right. Oh, if you play e5, I, I play... Also, I think bishop on g2 is such a strong mm -hmm. improvement on the hedgehog for white compared to right. like f3 and bishop, bishop on d3 somehow. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, obviously you want to just, just these two pieces are completely misplaced. It's crazy how, what is it, Nimzu mm -hmm. transformed like to Sicilian. Yeah. That happens in chess. Nice. Things transform into other things. Knife F5. Also one of my emotes. Okay, black played a move here I would never consider, and the engine says it's the best move. Yeah, it's just taking on F5 is just terrible. Because everything's, everything's hanging. So you have to play bishop D6. Wow. Man, that looks terrible. That's the best move. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it looks like it just loses. Okay, now he made a big yeah. mistake. He took with the knight. He has to take with the queen. Then it's then it's plus one for white. We took with the knight. Yeah, now he's in a lot of trouble. Yes. Oh, now white played a brilliant move. Go Dina. It's the only good move. That's why black did this. Black overlooked this move. I think it's something like knight takes b5. You're close. Wait, wait, no, no, because the knight takes. Oh, knight a4. Yeah, knight a4. That's winning. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yay. Axina gave 24, gave 10 subs. Thanks, Axina. Thank you so much, Axina. Yay, you gave 10 subs. That's 10 more than anybody else. Oh, no, wait a minute. Oxina gave five subs and I missed it, then gave 10 subs. That's 15 more than Yeah, that else, I didn't right? miss. C.S. Esposito gave a sub. Thank you. Yeah, I've been missing the subs. I'm too busy talking nonsense. You're too busy focusing on educating your students. Mm -hmm. Okay, so black played queen d4, which is a blunder, but it says black's losing anyway. But that's the worst move ever. Takes, takes. Knight c5, and black resigned. Because I'm threatening knight d7, and even better than knight d7, e5. God damn. Man, the rook's really bad on c6. Yeah. It is. Yay. It's not the place for the rook. As, as soon as black played... Their mama knows that. As soon as black played knight d6, he had to resign. Because knight c Even my mama knows that. Yeah? What's her rating? Oh, she doesn't have any rating. And she still knows it. Wow. Yeah, I mean, everybody knows that rook on c6 should not be there. That's true. I mean, I feel bad for Svitan. He plays 15 moves of theory, then he could only play 14 more moves. Yeah, these positions are very unpleasant for black. Black is struggling with the knight on b7 and, you know, the players with black are about the same rating as white. Okay, this is British players, Jonathan Hawkins and Peter Wells. Interesting. P P Peter Wells is my age. When I was in Europe, I saw him a lot. Jonathan Hawkins is younger, so I didn't see him. Yet. Okay, they get to our favorite position. Okay, so let me ask you a question. You're playing in the tournament, and this position occurs. Are you hoping they play B6 or 94? Oh, that's a good question. You're, you're happy with both? I feel like I'm happy with both, although for some reason, for now, yesterday's lesson is more in my brain than, mm -hmm. than this one. So, like, I feel like I know more about 94, but I'm sure, like, uh, yeah, I like that in both lines, positions are really, like, two, two results. But mm -hmm. I would say 94 looked more smoother for white. Yeah, okay. I mean, I don't know. Everybody, everywhere, like, everywhere black is just bad. 
Yeah, I agree that white white gets a nice position against everything. Okay, so knight b5, bishop b4, knight b7. Okay, this guy, Hawkins, played bishop f4. a3 is the other move. a6, knight d6, and they traded everything. Queen b8. And the engine said this endgame is equal, but white won. It's that two result end game. So and probably it looks so nice for whites. Yeah, probably if you don't want to play this line, then you can then you can play uh, a three first instead of no. bishop f four. But if you like this line, then you can play this way. Yeah, that's cool. A three is also okay there instead of this. Kind of keeping more pieces on the mm -hmm. boards. Yeah. No, I mean, black should draw this end game, but, you know, that doesn't mean he will. <laughs> I like rook c1. That's tricky. Yeah. You don't want to, like, we don't care about our knight, but because there's a bank row. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this should be a draw, but obviously black did something bad. So far, draw. Although I'd rather have white. Okay, so he gives up his A-pawn to win the king side. Interesting. Rook b2 is a blunder. Now white's winning. <laughs> Black has to play king c5. And then after rook takes pawn, play d5. And push the d-pawn. Nice. Yeah, after rook b2, white's winning. Man, just one bad move and he's lost. Yeah, now you just lose. I push my H and G pawns. That's funny. You have to push this pawn. He was thinking about pushing this pawn, but that doesn't work. Rook H6, X clam. The best move. Oh! Wow. Yeah, that's a good move. That's nice. And then Rook F6, also good. Man, those pawns are tough. Yeah, this is why everybody says to connect with past pawns are winning. Yeah, and he resigned here, plus plus a million. Nice. The third best move, it announces mate. The second best move is rook takes f5. Good for him. Yeah. Yeah, so that was nice, This trying to win this h-pawn, and black just made one mistake. Yeah. So yeah, you have to decide whether you like this end game after a6. Uh, in general, I love end games. And I have a very good statistics in end mm -hmm. games. I feel like it fits more my style. So I'm definitely not against end games. Yeah, he, he took on b8, but you can also play rook fd1. Or you can play yeah. queen d4 if you want to keep the queens on. Mm -hmm. Man, that was too bad. He was equal, then he had to lose right away. Okay, Sergey Ivanov. He's one of the 500 grandmasters whose name is Ivanov. Ivanov, Sergey, and mm -hmm. he's a very famous coach yeah. in St. Petersburg in my city. I wonder if he coaches this line. He he was like, for example, he was a coach of guys like Shimanov, like like Alexeyenko. I think he was Alexeyenko's coach at some time. Maybe maybe he wasn't, but. Gaganov's coach like this guy. Mm -hmm. A very nice guy. Very uh, like a gentleman. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a3. So, I mean, you have a choice here. You can play a3 or bishop f4. Okay. I like a3 first because then you don't trade all the pieces because you have knight c3 now. Correct. So I like I like the A three line bad. I don't know what I suggested in my chest of course. So Okay, D six. Already plus one for white. Yeah, and we saw this already in a, in a different game. But yeah, I mean the yeah. bishop and knight are misplaced. Yeah, white's playing perfect so far. 
Benjamin wants to play rook e1 and e4. Okay. We play queen b3. Let's play what I would play. I like that this transpo transposed to Switzerland because I played this a lot, like with mm -hmm. white on e e4, like kind of, right? Yeah. Like I would get it from e4, c5, knight f3, e6, c4. Mm -hmm. Please move water, and then I would get the Yosh. Yeah. Yoshik. That's that's a hedgehog. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ben, how do you not know? There's there's so much I don't know. Yeah, I, I should teach you. Okay, so next time. Queen E eight. Queen B one's the best move. Yeah, okay. so this is just a pathetic hedgehog. Yeah, E four is the right move. Plus one point three. Terrible knight. Bishop H3. Threatening the B pawn. Wow, the knight is so bad. It's worse than usual. Takes, takes. Knight takes f6 check. G takes f6 is best, but nobody's going to play G takes f6. <laughs> Ooh, bishop takes e4 is a blunder because of knight d2. You can't move the, you have to play bishop d5, otherwise there's queen check and the pawn's queening. Bishop g2. Nice. It likes queen a check first, but this is also good. Yeah, the b pawns is too strong, both of them. Oh, so this is a mistake. The queen a6 is a mistake. Should play knight e4. Or queen a8 check and then knight e4. Now black is actually okay. Yeah, this is a draw, it says, although I wouldn't be surprised if white wins because white's queening. Okay, now black made the losing move. The best move is pretty hard to find for black. I would find it because it's my kind of move. This move speaks to uh, me. Your kind of move, let me yeah. guess. It has to be the black. has it's to like, be the most boring be, move. <laughs> it's, it should be something like g six or a king h no king h seven. Yeah, king h seven. Yeah. Did you just say the most do, the most stupid move? The most boring move. Or, oh yeah, yeah king h seven. I got it before you said it. So yeah, that gets king off the back seven. rank. Yeah, he played d five. That's completely resignable. That's the same as nice. resigning. Yeah. Now I just queen. Man, the truth hurts. You get a couple of checks. Yeah. But not more than a couple. There's two checks, then here. That's the end. Hmm. Man, that's too bad. He fought hard to not be losing. I like the way the queen on c8 stops queen h3. That's good. Nice. And now the truth hurts. Nigel would be proud walking the king up like that. Then noisy upstairs. So those are the you games that I have in that those are the games I have in that line for white. Nice. Yeah, it seemed like two result game and some of the games white won, black played badly in the middle game or end game. But some of them they were just much worse or lost. That game, Sergey Ivanov was like plus one, plus 1.5. Then he threw all his advantage away. Then he won quickly. As soon as he had no advantage, then he won easy. Lol. Yeah, that's interesting. I feel like this can be more complex. I mean, it depends. Uh, because they didn't play, they played d6. They didn't play a3. Because on a3, do we have a choice, knight d6 or knight c3, or we only go knight? No, you just play knight c3. 
Yeah, you want to play knight c3, but you can't with the bishop on b4, because they take. Oh, so we can play knight c3, or we can, we can, yeah. or we can go knight d6. Yeah, knight c3 is better. Knight c3 is a big advantage already. And then you wow. play b4. It's the same, similar to the game, because the knight's on yes. b7. We don't want to trade the knight on b7 if we don't have to. That's why probably a3 is the best move here. Because then we don't have to play knight d6 and trade off this stupid knight. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then 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 we can play, then we can play knight c3, b4, and put our rooks in the middle, play for e4, and the knight's stupid. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, as long as their knight is there, you're better. That Makes was sense. a heck of a question by Dina, because I was wondering that. And I miss having dogs. Aw. Let's see if I missed anybody donating or something, which I usually do. Ah, uh, C.S. Pizzito. Big Daddy gave one bit. Sir Percival resubscribed. Thanks, Sir Percival. You're the best. So you're flying out tomorrow morning? Or that's me. You're flying out Friday. Yes, I'm flying Friday. And yeah. are you going to a secret location or you can tell us? No, it's Budva, Montenegro. Um, yeah, we're going to play uh, European Team Chess Championship. Mm -hmm. And right after that, I am going to US Masters. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds like a lot of flying. Yes, well, that's usual. Like, I, I usually tr I do travel a lot because I have a lot of, like, I have events where I compete. And I also have events that I either commentate or take interviews. And mm -hmm. plus, I also play leagues, like Bundesliga, like stuff like that, French leagues. So I actually have, um, yeah, I, I'm a professional chess player. What do you play? What do you speak other than Russian and English? Do you have another language? Well, I, I speak French, mm -hmm. uh, like because I live in France and, I, and I've been studying French and for, for a very long time. So I actually speak French le better than English. Well, you speak English and fine. I, <laughs> yeah, but I speak French better. Okay. Yeah. J'ai habité en Belgique pour quatre ans. What? J'ai habité en Belgique pour quatre ans. I lived in Belgium for four years. What? Yeah. J'ai habité en Belgique pendant quatre ans. Oui, oui. 1988 to 1900, and then depends what country I'm in to say 92. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> when, 92. Yeah, when I was in Belgium, I bought something and they said Nanant something, and I'm like, Nanant, what's that? Yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? Right. Yeah, I think my they. My moderator is, is Bel Belgium, so he knows yeah, my, my moderators. Somebody told me. In Switzerland, they don't say Catra Van, they say Octant. Act yes, yes. I, I don't know Swiss, French. I know like only yeah. Belgium. Yeah, Octant actually makes sense. Catra Van doesn't make any sense. Come on. Yeah. You can't be doing math while you're saying the numbers. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I mean, it's it's tough when you're starting the language, but once you are like, once you speak it, you don't, you don't yeah. think about it. Just yeah, I took know. French in school for four years, and then I lived in Belgium for four years. And that was all 30 years ago, so I forgot everything. You forgot the mean, you forgot the most important phrase that you need to add to that sentence. Yeah, what's that? Come on, then. Huh? Je regrette, mais je forget. Before you were born. Born. Yeah, also true. Right. <laughs> Nice. Well, listen, that was amazing, honestly. I um, uh, really enjoyed it. And uh, Yeah, me too. That was good I, to I, vote I, up I on my opening. I wanted to repass this one a little bit more. I actually had some questions from mm -hmm. what I studied yesterday. Yeah. But we can keep them for the next time. That's fine. Yeah, you can even we can even talk to Charlotte about stuff if you're not busy. Oh, I'd love to. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I keep forgetting that you're coming to my city. Yeah, your city. Yes. I worked in Charlotte place. before you were born. Oh, did you? Man, I worked I worked in the Charlotte Chess Center when it was somewhere else. 
Oh, really? I yeah. didn't know I've, that. I've never seen it where it is now. <laughs> I don't even oh, know where it should. is. you should. You should definitely yeah. come. There is yeah. a portrait of mine hanging there. Oh, yeah, that's why. Yeah. Yeah, on the wall. That's a good reason. Oh, would you? Okay, we, we should meet We should meet for dinner. Like, I'm inviting you and Karen for dinner. Karen's not coming. No. She, ha she, should, has, she, has, she has kids at home Thanksgiving weekend. What? Her, her two sons you, are going to be here. Karen is not coming? What's that, Shta? Wait, what? No, Karen's not Karen coming. Not just me. Coming? Just me. Just work. Oh, that's so sad. I wanted to meet her. Mm -hmm. Tell her. Tell her she should bring kids to, with her. Like I want to meet her. Yeah, but they're like one's flying in from MIT to visit for the weekend, and he gets half the time with his dad and half the time with his mom. So she can't just leave for a couple of days. But yeah, she's been to Charlotte several times. Oh, so was she? Yeah, I she'll. Never, she, I, never, I didn't know. Yeah, she'll come again. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, when Karen and I were dating before we were married, like eight years ago, I was staying in Charlotte, and she would come visit because it's much oh, closer really? than St. Louis. Yeah. That's so romantic. Yeah. Exactly. And um, how long time ago was that? Yeah, eight years ago. Before I was born. Exactly. Well, that, I'm not sure about that. You you may have been born, maybe. <laughs> right. I mean, you want to. So cool. you, you might want to be younger than you are now, but you probably don't want to be seven or eight. <laughs> I'm, so I'm, you guys I'm, met in, in Chaz. That's awesome. We we met in St. Louis at the St. Louis Club. Oh, she was a casual chess player? No, her son was in a was in a math camp in St. Louis and her son played chess, her other son, when he was four. Wow. And she brought him to the chess club and that's where I met them. Nice. Wow. So it's it's because of her son, which uh, who is visiting right now, right? He'll be visiting on Thanksgiving, yeah. Well, in any case, I'm inviting you for dinner. And like Karen, if she doesn't show up, that's her problem. That's dinner with Dina. It's almost the same words. Yes. Yeah. I'll invite you over mm -hmm. to my city. Yeah, your city. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. If Karen isn't there, no one will civilize the room. That is correct. Well, it, yeah. It, that would happen if we fired up the stream, mm -hmm. but we don't have to. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck when you go to Montenegro. You're playing there? Yes, I'm going to play there. There's nine rounds. Like, mm -hmm. we have a one a reserve player, so, like, I don't know how it will go. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but, but, but I will continue studying the course and, uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm super I'm super excited. I I see the lights in the in the end of the tunnel with Ben Fine's gold one D four. Yay! Everybody buy my chessable course. Go Dina. I'll make sure they do. Mm -hmm. And we see you for the coverage of the first round of U.S. Masters. That's right. That's on uh, Tuesday before Thanksgiving or Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday before, before the day before Wednesday Thanksgiving. Before the day before Karen's birthday. birthday. That's right. Yep. Yes. Cool. All right. Thank you so much, Ben. All right. Thanks, and, Gina. And, uh, are you continuing to stream or? No, I'm going to stream tonight. So you're making a pause. Yes. A you're taking a nap, a power at, nap. At, at least. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Thank you so much and talk to you soon. Okay. Bye, Gina. Bye, Ben. I guess I'll read, I'll read Dina. I forgot about her. All right, see you guys later tonight, 8.30 p.m. Eastern. Bye, everybody.